Well, hello there, people from the internet, and we're back with some more Battlefield 1, and today I'm going to be talking about the Villa Perosa. Now, the Villa Perosa, you might be asking, what is that? It's an actual sentry kit that you can pick up on the Monte Grampa map. I'm playing Conquest, and you will be able to find it at the B flag. Now, if you're picking up the one on the D flag, that's actually just going to be a regular sentry kit, so you're not going to get this one. Although, in operations, it might be a little bit different. I've not really played too much operations, so I wouldn't know exactly... But I know in Conquest, if you pick this one up, it's going to be the Villa Perosa. Now, one of the things at first that doesn't really make sense is that this is basically your Automatico. And the Automatico has 25 bullets, while this one has two mags. It still only has 25 bullets, which I was kind of hoping that it's going to have a little bit more since you're using uh, two mags and you have the one in the chamber. So you should have technically 51. So this should be the P90 of Battlefield 1, because let's just face it, the P90 is just awesome. And they should have been like that, but for some reason, nope, they decided 25 bullets is long enough and then it's going to take you like 4 or 5 seconds for you to reload it within 2 seconds of firing, 5 shots, 5 seconds of reloading because it takes a hell of a long time for it to reload. So that was pretty cool, you don't get to see sentry versus sentry action every day and I know what he's doing, he's a medic at the back of it and he's a medic, uh, cassetta medica over there, he's trying to heal, get some heals in and try and shoot me down, but that kind of failed for you my son. It didn't work that time, better luck next time. The Villa Perosa got developed in 1914 and adopted in 1915 by the Italian Army. Now this originally was designed to be an aircraft weapon and the variation that you're seeing in Battlefield 1 is slightly different than the one that's actually meant to be on an aircraft. It doesn't feature the two sort of thumbsticks that you normally use to fire in a aircraft. It actually features like a sort of pistol grip that you can use on the battlefield. Nevertheless, I think it's a really cool weapon and once you get your hands on it, you should be trying to keep it alive as much as you can and you can do a lot of damage with this as long as you keep a medic nearby because people will try and grenade you, they will try to bayonet charge you. The easiest way to take somebody down is obviously, obviously bayonet charge him and there's nothing really you can do about it unless you can get a couple of shots into him before he sort of gets to you. Otherwise, you'll not have a chance and since I'm at 1% health there, luckily for me there was a medic there dropping me some med kits and I can keep going. And eventually I do end up sort of going on a 30 something kill streak with this, so that's pretty cool that you get to use these sentry kits to their maximum potential. You get to use them, if you're using them sort of right and using them smart, let's just say that way, you're not just rushing in the middle of the action. You have a bit of support to the back of you and it kind of worked this time around. You Mostly you don't see a lot of people sort of helping you out trying to get ammo trying to get sort of things done it's me i need the ammo bruv thank you very much it's it's going to be one of those things where you're going to be faced that on the battlefield where you think shit i wish somebody dropped me some med kits i wish somebody dropped me some ammo but as it turned out in this one i did get a little bit now this is not going to be the best weapon out there at longer ranges but when it comes to close quarters you will dominate everybody because you can fire as fast as anything goes out there on the battlefield now i think the only thing that should technically fire faster than this would be the automatico but since i think this is the automatico then nothing really faster than this i actually tried looking on simtech and i tried looking on battlefield one website to see if i can see any stats for this or anything like that i just couldn't find anything so if you do happen to find some right stats for this weapon somewhere, go ahead and just post me a link in the comments and I can update it so people can read more about it and find out some official stats about it. Now moving on back onto the battlefield, I have to say that it's one of those weapons that as long as you've got somebody with you, as long as you've got a friend or somebody that's going to heal you all the time, I mean you can keep this going as long as you want. I mean my longest kill streak with this were around sort of 50 kills and this one... It's only about 31 or something like that and I could have done a little bit better but I just got to the end and I just went on the ground and when you're surrounded by four or five dudes all sort of throwing grenades at you and shooting at you and trying to melee you, chances are you're not going to make it too far. But as long as you stay out in the open, you take cover and you just make sure that you engage target in sort of close quarters to medium quarters if you want to put it that way, anywhere sort of up to about 50 meters I think that's it's good enough you don't want to be trying to get anything more than that because it's not going to do too well at longer ranges and you're just not going to be getting the kill uh, you're going to go through your magazines pretty fast since you only have the 25 bullets it's going to take you quite a bit to reload it like i said there's no official reload times for this but i mean just a guess it be four or five seconds so by the time you shot two seconds worth of lead at somebody really quick you got the kill but then it's going to take you another four or five to reload giving people plenty of chances to shoot you in the back or shoot you in the face or charge you with a bayonet charge because that seems to be 
sort of the easiest way and everybody's kind of doing that with the bayonet charge and I've mentioned this in a previous video I don't think that's meant to be you going around 316 around buildings with a bayonet charge I think it's just meant to go as a one-time charge straight ahead only thing not really for you to sort of go around circles until you actually get him and you don't run out of stamina so you can get the kill next to the tank hunter kit I believe this is to be my second favorite I mean I don't really particularly like the actual sentry kit with the LMG I think it's just a bit too slow the accuracy is pretty poor at range and I think this one is just really good for sort of trench clearing and buildings and things like that I mean if you get this weapon in operations and you get yourself in one of those buildings you know everybody sort of sits here if you do ha happen to sort of get in and steal it somehow because chances are you're not going to make it in there because there's 20 dudes throwing grenades and gas and spamming the shit out of grenades at you so you're probably not going to make it when it comes to this stage because everybody just sort of hides on the ground. You'll probably need the whole team to be on the top if you want to capture this side or if you want to capture this objective because I, I felt that this is one of the hardest objectives to capture in operations just because everybody just sits on the ground and spams smoke and spams grenades and fire and all that sort of stuff. All the incendiary grenades that around every corner that you just simply can't get through but if for some reason you would or maybe you are on that team that's underground and you grab the Villa Perosa I think you'd be able to come out you know just surprise everybody just come out get behind them and I think you'd be able to get a shitload of kills with this just because you fire so fast and people just don't have a chance to react so with that being said you'll have to let me know in the comments what kit is your favorite kit to pick up which sentry class is the favorite one that you're always trying to get and you're trying to go for for me it's always going to be the tank hunter. I think the tank hunter is just the better one out there. You can just do so much more with it. And with this one, you can't really do nothing against the vehicles. Sure, you can blast a shitload of bullets into them really fast. But when it comes down to armor, it simply won't cut the mustard like the tank hunter does. And the most important thing to remember about this kit, as soon as you picked it up, P90 rush, no stop, only one flash. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.